Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Verily all praise is due to Allah, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon the Messenger of Allah, his family and all his companions. Asalaamu Alaikum my honoured brothers and sisters for coming today to this event by JFAC, fighting for the release of our beloved sister Afia Siddiqui. I know you have all taken out your time to come to attend today, many sisters with children, but Alhamdulillah it is our duty as a Muslim to help Sister Afia to be reunited with her family and children. Brothers and sisters, you must be aware of the injustice that has dawned upon Afia since her disappearance in 2003, forcibly separated from her children, reportedly held without charge, and tortured in US custody in secret prisons for five years. Kidnapped, shot, falsely accused, raped, tortured, humiliated, imprisoned for life, and abduction of her three children, whom the youngest, Suleiman, remains missing, and speculations that he was murdered by the Americans. Her five years of incarceration in Bagram, which former Guantanamo Bay detainee Binyam Muhammad claims he witnessed, and now sentenced to 86 years imprisonment in America, is a miscarriage of justice, and again highlights the global attack on Muslims on the so-called war on terror. Sister Afia faces a whole life in prison without any contact with her family and children. What can we do for our sister? The obvious make dua, but is this enough? Our sister Afia and many other brothers and sisters cry for the Ummah to wake up and help them. Many Muslims in Britain would not even know who Afia is, as I have personally experienced this in as I have personally experienced this whilst giving out leaflets in my son's school. So if our Muslim brothers and sisters are not even aware of the situation of Afia, what can they do? We need to spread awareness of this in our communities. For example, mosques, schools, shopping centers, and so on. There is a hadith which quotes, forbid the evil and enjoining the good. Therefore, we have a responsibility to our sister, a Muslim ummah, to help her and speak out to the corrupt politicians and put pressure on the Pakistan-American governments to send Sister Afia back to her homeland. JFAC is an organization that has been set up by a group of Muslim sisters purely to help our sister in Islam, Afia Siddiqui. We will not stop until she's returned to her family. She's not a terrorist. She's a mother, sister, daughter, and pious Muslimah who strive and still strives for the deen. Inshallah, brothers and sisters, we have an obligation to help her and the misconceptions that some people have of her as being a terrorist. You can visit the website, the address is on the leaflet. Inshallah, brothers and sisters, you can spread awareness via Facebook, Twitter, text, by whatever means you find convenient. If you have family and friends who can liaise with politicians in Pakistan, America and UK, to put pressure on governments, by all, main, by all means use these contacts to help Afia. Inshallah, we hope that we Muslims can unite together and do whatever is in our means to help our sister, who is being tortured as we speak. How long will we sit back and see the humiliation of our brothers and sisters who are fa facing globally? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Surah 9, let those believers who sell the life of this world for the hereafter fight in the cause of Allah. And who fights in the cause of Allah and as is killed or gets victory, we, sh we shall bestow on them great reward. Think deeply how Islam, how Allah encourages the, sp the spirit to his word superior and to protect the weak and to rescue the oppressed ones. The time has come, my beloved brothers and sisters, to rise up and not worry of the dunya only, but to help the oppressed Muslims as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold us all accountable of our actions in this era of what we did to help our sister Afia. I know my beloved Muslim brothers and sisters, living in the West, as some might say, we have the advantage to speak out against the Munafikins of Islam. So let's take the opportunity and do whatever we can to help our sister Afia. Our ummah is in disgrace, the occupation of Muslim lands, the mass murders, there was a time in our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu if any one sister was captured by the Kufars, the Muslim Ummah would rise and march towards the oppressors and rescue our honor. So what does this tell us, my beloved brothers and sisters? We need to rise up and rescue the honor of our Ummah. 
Jazakallah khair for listening, brothers and sisters. And inshallah, our sister, Dr. Afia, does not stand alone. The whole ummah is standing with her, and we will fight for her until she's returned to her family.